Hello everyone, I'm George Taylor from Imagine Nerding, and on my channel we talk about Disney theme parks, Disney history, other Orlando theme parks, and Disney books. On this episode I'm going to start a new series all about the essential Walt Disney World books that every Disney fan should own. In my personal collection, which you can see just a few of the books behind me, I have over 1,400 Disney and theme park related books in my collection, and there are a lot of them about Walt Disney World. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. In this video, we're going to take a look at one of my favorites, Walt Disney Imagineering, a behind the dreams look at making the magic real. It was one of the first times that they brought everyone behind the curtain to talk about how the Imagineers create their attractions, the resorts, and their themed properties. Walt Disney Imagineering, a behind the dreams look at making the magic real, was released in 1996 and was truly one of the first books to take us inside the hollowed halls of Imagineering. It's not a tell-all behind the scenes book, it's more like a this is what Imagineers do and have done book. Clocking in at 192 pages, it is another must-have book for every Disney Park fan. So, how would you approach the idea of writing a book about Walt Disney Imagineering? The book team, Bruce Gordon, David Mumford, Kevin Rafferty, and Randy Webster, sums it up as follows. Rather than a chronological history, the book would try and capture the spirit of Imagineering, what it's like to be here, to walk down our hallways, and most importantly, to be an Imagineer. The story could be told through quotes and anecdotes, as if the reader was really here, looking over our shoulders while we work. The book does come pretty close to that. The 192 pages are divided into five major chapters that purport to cover every aspect of Walt Disney Imagineering, although there wasn't a section on politics or backstabbing. As expected, the Imagineers make fantastic use of the Walt Disney Imagineering and company archives to share concept artwork, paintings, drawings, sketches, and some jaw-dropping art in general. Not to slight the text in any fashion, but people will be drawn to uh, more to the lavish images. The narrative, really it isn't too technical, runs along the same lines as other titles by Bruce Gordon and David Mumford. You will not be disappointed and will learn a lot about the process of Walt Disney Imagineering. The Spark. The first chapter looks at creativity and defines what the Imagineers consider brainstorming. No idea is ever thrown away and they live in a corporate culture where there are no bad ideas. This section is some fantastic conceptual artwork, sketches, story ideas, paintings, and more. Did you ever hear of the Herb Ryman designed House of Cheese? <laughs> you do get to see a lot of concept work for current and long gone attractions, as well as some attractions and parks that never made it past the drawing board. The second chapter, The Fantasy, is the largest and the meatiest. We take the next step towards the reality of the ride and progress with more concrete ideas, artwork, and concepts. It comes down to trying to define how the story will be told in a 3D world. There are a lot more paintings presented that showcase an idea that is almost more emotion than feeling. The Imagineers really seem to revel in this area, due in large part to the copious amounts of artwork that is shared. Beyond the artwork, attention is paid to the entire creative process at this point. Anecdotes, storyboards, and scale models help to walk you through the development of the final product. We start to see increasingly solid plans in the third chapter titled Blood, Sweat, and Tears. Whereas the previous section looked at the larger picture, here we see more of the individual details as they start to emerge. Instead of seeing a large painting of a building, we are presented with the architectural site plans. We also see a lot of artwork on ride vehicles and color schemes. At this point, the Imagineers are working off of pretty solid ideas and most of the artwork presented is easily recognizable in a current form. Towards the end of the chapter, we get to see some of the cutting edge technology that the Imagineers were developing and using. At the time, it was pretty spectacular and, you know, 20 years later, it feels more like a historical piece. Still, there are a lot of jobs and positions within Imagineering that are discussed, including the librarians in the Information Research Center. The fourth chapter, Making It Real, is all about construction and installing the show sets, vehicles, buildings, and everything else. The Imagineers delve into their archives to pull construction photos from every era in the Disney parks. 
from Disneyland, Walt Disney World, Tokyo Disneyland, and Disneyland Paris. It's a fun chapter that doesn't get too technical, but still gives you a good idea of how encompassing the work is when you're an Imagineer and in the field. The fifth and final chapter, called The Magic, is short but very sweet. Basically, the Imagineers dedicate two pages to every Disney theme park well, that existed prior to 1996. There are a few historic photos for each park, but the majority are more current photographs. You know, since the book is over 20 years old, all of the photos are historical. Also, it's an interesting look at what the Imagineers think defines the magic of the theme parks. This is an important work about the Imagineers, Disney theme parks, and to some extent the history of the Disney company. It's one of the few works to step inside the environs of Flower Street and share how the Imagineers do their jobs. If you can find a copy for under $40, go for it. You will not be disappointed. Another reason to like Walt Disney Imagineering is that the Imagineers hit a copy of it in the single rider queue in Expedition Everest at Disney's Animal Kingdom. You might miss it, but it has been there since 2007, if not since the opening. Not the first hidden book, but is a great one. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video of one of my essential Walt Disney World books. Walt Disney Imagineering, a behind the dreams look at making the magic real. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know, do you own this book? What do you think about it? Do you think it's an essential book about Walt Disney World? Leave me a comment. I would love to know what your thoughts are. I'm George Taylor from Imagine Nerding, and I hope to see you in the parks.